guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i have some glitter poly gel from model ones to show you guys and i'm doing another talk through um you guys say you have been enjoying these so yeah i have been too i kind of feel like i'm getting more connected with you guys by doing like talk through videos and stuff like that but before we even get into this video i just want to ask you guys um if there's like a problem with my audio because some people say that I sound clear and then I get like the occasional comment saying that um, the audio sounds really low and then the music's too loud but on my end it sounds just fine so I don't know if they're just trolling or if that's true so if you guys could please comment below and let me know in the comment section so I guess I can figure out what I have to do if I have to adjust my settings or whatever because like I said, on my end, I could hear myself just fine. So I don't know. But yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying these talk through videos and it's so funny that you guys say you like my voice um, because I literally hate the way I sound but all of you guys like say my voice is like soothing to you. So yeah, it's just funny because I never thought anybody would say that, but like I get that a lot and it's just funny because I really hate the way I sound. <laughs> but I do get the occasional haters that's like, oh, I just cannot deal with your voice. It's just so monotone and this and that. I'm like, well, shoot, bye then. <laughs> you don't gotta watch my channel. I'll leave my channel for the people who like to watch it, okay? Anyways, getting into these poly gels. This set comes with four different colors and they are all like glitter colors and it says like aqua gel on the cover. So yeah, here's what they look like. They do come sealed. And this is the back of the bottle. And these are one ounce tubes, so they're pretty decent size. So this one is called Purple Ring. And we are gonna do like some swatches and stuff. This one is called Blue Ocean. Then we have Royal Crown. Then we have Tiffany Pink. That one sounds like it's gonna be a really pretty color. This one is Party Queen. I love glitter poly gel so much. I think they're really, really pretty. And this one is girl's dress. Oh, girl's dress. I'm not sure if that's a typo or girl's dress. I guess so. I don't know. Um, Oscar's skirt. And then the last one is glitter princess. So they do have really, really cute names. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what kind of design I want to do, but I know I do want to keep it pretty simple um, Because I did receive these little um, butterfly charms from Oh my goodness from Morpho Nova on Amazon, so I'm just gonna show you guys these really quick. These are the cutest things ever They're like 3d butterflies that you can put on your nails and they come in like this um Set of let me see there's a lot in here guys let me just take them all out so I can count them so let's see we have two four six eight ten twelve different sets of butterfly charms and then this is like a little uh, thank you card that comes with the box okay and these are what the charms look like which I really hope my camera's focusing. Do not fail me now, camera. It's not the time. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So here are the other ones. These are super cute. There's like all different colors and there's like little like caviar beads and stuff on the inside. So I'm gonna be doing like a glitter poly gel set and like using these, I think. I just wanted to do something simple but really cute at the same time. 
I just want to show you guys all of them. You get like so many options in this little set. So I'm going to make sure that I leave the links to these down below if you guys are interested. And I also do have a discount code with Model 1s now. I actually did ask them to make me a discount code because before I just had an affiliate link. But I was like, yeah, I need to hook my girls up with a discount code. So they made me a 10% off code. It is STAY10. So you guys can save 10% whenever you shop with Model 1s. But yeah, sorry if my camera's not focusing all the way, but I'm pretty sure you get the point. I mean, they all look the same, just really different colors. But yeah, these are definitely a cute thing to have in your nail collection. So yeah, I'm going to take the seals off of these and then we're gonna do some swatches. Okay, so the first color I'm swatching is called Oscar's Skirt. And I'm swatching these on the paper towel to speed up the video. Wow, these poly gels come out nice and like thick. These are really nice. So that's a really pretty like silver shade with like a little bit of hints of like chunky and holographic glitters in it. I'm gonna give you guys a close up after I'm done like swatching all of them. But yeah, the next shade is called Purple Ring. See what this one looks like. Whoa. <laughs> well, that's a really like deep um, purple shade with some fine glitters in it. That's really pretty as well. The next color I'm swatching is called Glitter Princess. This is an iridescent um, poly gel. It's like a clear poly gel with iridescent glitters in it. It looks like um, some chunky, well not chunky, like medium glitters and fine glitters. They're really pretty. It's like all iridescent. And then the next one is called Party Clean. Ooh, this one's really pretty as well. It's kind of like the one I just swatched, except it has more of like a blue tint to it. It's got a little bit of medium and fine glitters in it. That one's really pretty. The next one is Blue Ocean. That's a nice teal glittery shade. It has a little bit of the medium glitters in this one as well, and then some fine glitters. These are really opaque too, they're nice. Ooh, this purple one, now that it's settled, it has like hollow, it has some fine holographic glitters in it. It's really pretty. Okay, the next one is Grill's Dress, or a Girl's Dress, we don't know. Ooh, I didn't even take the seal off this one, see? Goodness. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, that one's pretty. It's kind of like a pinkish purple shade with those same little chunky, I keep saying chunky. They're like medium and fine glitters. I don't know why I keep saying that. Sorry guys. The next one is Royal Crown. And this is a gold glittery color. This one is like really super gold. That would be really cute for like New Year's or something like that. And then the last one we have is Tiffany Pink. Ooh, that's a nice like rose gold poly gel. Ooh, really pretty. I'm glad that these aren't just like fine glitters because I cannot stand like poly gels that have just fine glitters in them. I don't really see what the point of that is. But these, I like these because there's like different size glitters in them. I mean, these have fine glitters in them, but they're like fine hollow glitters, so it gives them like a different look. So yeah, I like these a lot. I really don't even know which one I wanna wear yet, but let me zoom you in some more. These are super pretty. You guys should definitely check these out. 
All right, so I'm gonna cure them in my lamp and then we're gonna take a look at them after they're cured. All right, so here's what they look like after they're cured. This one is really pretty. Like now that it's cured, I can see like all the different color um, glitters in this one. It's kind of like a rainbow iridescent. That one's super pretty. I also like the silver. I don't know, I like all of them. I think they're all really nice. And as you can see, there's absolutely like no bubbles in these or anything like that. And they're super shiny even without a top coat. These are definitely great quality polydells. And I really like how the bottles are big. I cannot stand when they're like too small. At least you'll get like some wear out of these, you know? Okay, so jumping into the tutorial, I'm just going to prep my nails by applying a dehydrator and primer. Um, I did um, remove my previous set off camera and as always I am leaving a little bit of my previous set on just so that I don't have to file down to my natural nails and I'm using Babe Nail Dehydrator and their primer. Normally I always use my Mia Secret Dehydrator and the Young Nails Protein Bond but I'm out of my Young Nails Protein Bond so I'm just using these for now. And I'm also using a base gel that I already have from Model 1's poly gel kits and I'm applying that just to my natural nail part. You really only need to apply it um, to that part of your nail. Applying it to the rest of your nail is really like pointless. Um, and this is just going to prep your nails for the poly gel, give it something to stick to, and also like prevent your natural nails from like staining. So yeah, the colors I decided to go with are Purple Ring, which is this deep purple shade with the holographic glitters in it. And I'm also using the Grills Dress color. I really want to know if they meant Girls Dress when they um, made that, but whatever. I'm using that one because I felt like um, those two colors went together really nicely. And I really love the end result. Like, just like all of these colors with the butterfly charms and everything, I don't know, it was really a vibe and it definitely came out really pretty. So yeah, I'm basically just applying one color to each nail. Like I said, it's going to be super simple. I'm also using a slip solution from one of Model 1's poly gel kits. But if you don't have like a slip solution, you can always use like 90% um, isopropyl alcohol or like 70%, that works like exactly the same. So yeah, or you can use like a base gel, whatever you feel comfortable with. So yeah, um, as you can see with one coat of these poly gels, um, it's not like fully opaque and of course the nails aren't really that thick enough so I will be going in with a second layer on these. But basically I just squeeze the poly gel onto my nail like already in the form. I don't even use the spatula, I just squeeze it right out onto the nail. It's just easier for me this way and faster. And then basically I pat it in place. I always start by the cuticle. Um, that's usually the easiest way to go with poly gel because then you can just like move side to side down the rest of the nail but yeah this poly gel is like super soft and easy to work with like you literally don't need that much slip solution um, and it just like goes right into place i am like flash curing because you guys know that i tend to like bump into things so yeah i'm just flash curing as i go along Now I'm gonna go in with the second layer of poly gel, but I did do a cure in my regular lamp for 60 seconds before going in with the second layer to make sure that the first layer was fully cured. Um, I'm going in with the second layer, like I said, because the nails weren't thick enough and I needed the second layer to like build them up. So yeah, I basically apply the second layer the same exact way I did for the first one. Um, I just squeeze the poly gel right out onto the nail right over the first layer and basically just do the same thing I did before, just pat it in place, always starting by the cuticle. And if you do get a little bit of extra poly gel on your brush, you can, um, on your nail I mean, you can just remove it with the um, spatula. Um, I like to add like a little bit extra when I'm doing long nails. 
but yeah these colors are super pretty um, I just love the way they look um, the nails did come out a little bit thick um, and I think that's because there's like so much glitter in them so yeah I did um, end up filing down a lot of the bulk because I didn't want my nails to be like that wide or whatever All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start filing the nails. Like I said, these nails came out a slightly thicker than I wanted them to. So I am using my drill bit to like take down like a lot of the bulk. I'm using my fine grit safety bit from a cart and I'm just going over the entire nail and like tapering in the sides. I'm taking off a lot of the bulk because I didn't really want my nails to be like too thick. I don't really like wide nails. It's just something about that. I don't like them too wide. I like them kind of like right there in the middle. And I'm kind of doing like, um, like a tapered square shape. So yeah, I'm going around the cuticle, smoothing over the surface of the entire nail. I'm tapering in the sides a lot so that I can take off most of that bulk and have like less hand filing to do. Also do go underneath the nail. Um, to get out like any excess nail tip or anything um, under there and these nail tips I will have linked below um, I will be making a tutorial like a poly gel for beginners tutorial soon um, so that you guys can see how I shape them up and do my nails with like poly gel from like start to finish I know a lot of you guys want to see that um, because a lot of you guys have been having trouble saying that your nails have been like popping off and stuff when you do poly gel so yeah, I do plan on making that video soon. So after I go in with this drill bit, I will be using my cuticle bit to like seal around the cuticle um, because this bit has like a guard on it and sometimes it's like hard to like get around the cuticle area and seal like really good. So I'll be using that to do that and I do have a link to these drill bits down below as well. Next I'm taking my 100-180 grit nail file and I'm using that to shape up the nails. Like I said, I'm doing a tapered square shape. So I'm debulking the middle of the nail first. I'm holding my file and filing straight a few times on each side like that. Then I'm gonna angle my file in 
and that's what's going to give me that like tapered square shape so i'm filing a few times like that on each side but you don't want to file too much to where it's going to look coffin sometimes i like to switch between like coffin shape and tapered square shape it like depends on my mood like however i feel like sometimes i'm really feeling the tapered square shape other times i'm like in the coffin shape or like that really skinny coffin shape i don't know i just like go back and forth between the three and then sometimes i get into my phases where like i really just like stilettos i don't know i'm weird but yeah i do that a lot um i'm also taking the hand file and i do like further shape up the nails by going over the surface of the nails um, and i just feel like that gives me just like a really nice like end result like my nails look really nice and neatly shaped I've been really working on my shape a lot lately. I feel like shape matters, like because your nails could be cute, you could have a really nice design, but if that shape ain't right, like your nails are just gonna not look right. I just feel like you should work on your shape first before you get into like doing all of those types of designs and stuff like that. So yeah, and you also do want to buff over the surface of your nails after you're done shaping them up with a buffer to like buff out any like scratches or anything because you will see those scratches in your end result when you go to top coat if you skip that step. To finish up the design, I'm basically just going in and applying the butterflies and some of those like pixie crystals to the nails. And this is what's really going to make the nails pop and look like you actually tried um, doing something rather than just using one color. So yeah, um, to attach the butterflies, you want to use poly gel or you could use clear acrylic, but you need something with a stronger hold to hold these because they are like 3D butterflies and they will fall off your nails easily if you use like regular nail glue or bling gel. So yeah, after I apply that butterfly on, I do like flash cure and then I'm going in with some Poochie's bling gel and gel top coat. This is what I use to like hold my stones. I'm pretty sure you guys know that if you've been watching my channel for a while. But yeah, I'm applying some of those pixie crystals into the gel like around the butterfly and I'm also applying a little bit of the gel into the middle of the butterfly and applying some of those like pixie crystals in the middle just to make it look like um, the body of the butterfly is kind of like diamond studded and I noticed that when I applied the pixie crystals onto the nails um, they did get kind of like lost in the glitter a little bit so what I did to like bring those out was I took some really tiny like AB rhinestones um, that I already had and I just mixed those in randomly with the pixie crystals and you were able to like see them a lot better and it made them pop so yeah I'm basically doing that same type of look on the pointer finger as well and then on the middle finger I'm going to be applying um, a lot of the pixie crystals to the tip of the nail kind of like a side tip side French tip but with pixie crystals and I'm applying um, a little bit of the small AB rhinestones like mixed in with those like I said to bring them out more so you could see them a lot better and yeah that's pretty much it for this set like I said it is super simple but at the same time it is such a cute like bomb look like it looks like you actually tried like it took you a while to do your nails 
so yeah let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments i would really love to hear your thoughts and let me know what you think of these glitter poly gels from model ones and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when i upload a new video and don't forget to follow me on instagram i'll see you guys in my next one